my name is Monica Facchini. I'm an assistant professor here at Colgate and I am in the Department of Romance Languages and Literatures. I teach Italian and also Film and Media Studies. Last semester I taught Intermediate Italian and this is the course in which I used and I designed a new project uh, for my students which involved the use of uh, Prezi. For this Prezi project students had to create an original story but by using course materials and activities and of course the new grammar topics. The main goals of this project are to improve students' writing skills, speaking skills, but also to help them create something original on their own with the materials that they had. This helped them not only to review course material in a creative way, but also they, it helped them construct something tangibly through the use of, of Prezi. And, and this is the reason why I think Prezi worked very well because, because it has a very flexible and multi-dimensional interface and allows students to incorporate and interconnect video clips, film and written, and written test in a very uh, effective but also easy way. Students had to attend to workshop with our instructional technologies, Latko Grotzel. Latko illustrated the basic uh, functions of Prezi and also the different ways uh, students could use Prezi for their projects. So he went, he covered from templates to how to design a Prezi project and stru other structural elements of this software. On our second workshop instead, students came with a drawing of the structure of their project and they started working on it under the supervision of Zlatko and me. On the one side, students were encouraged to work in group. On the other side, they, each student had the responsibility for a specific one narrative path they chose, and, and they could also contribute with their own personality and knowledge. Here, Prezi was very, very useful because it helped students to build different uh, directions. In a very, so the structure was very easy to build through the Prezi. And also, students were supposed to, write, to create different directions, but this direction should meet at a certain point. So they could have the same ending or the same beginning, or they could have points of contact in the middle of the story. And students really liked this project. They were very satisfied. So much so that some students told Zlatko and me that, they used, that after learning about Prezi in this course, they used it for their presentations in other courses. And, and I was satisfied with it because I think that students really um, had the chance to say something about something personal and, and creative about the materials that they have studied through the course. And, and I think that the Prezi was effective not only for the presenters, as I said before, but also for the audience because it helped keeping uh, the audience attention alive and the audience was involved thanks to the visual power of this software. Students had to work together for their project, but as I said, they had also individual tasks. Even when uh, they, they did not meet, they could still work together because they shared the project on the internet. So basically every time they updated their own path, narrative path, all the other members could see the updates. And not only the other members, but I, also, I did too. I, I always checked for their progress in terms of content and structure uh, at any time because they shared their projects with me. Each group had to present at the end of the semester their, their projects and they did it of course in front of a class. And what they did is to, they introduced the, the project, so the nature of the project, how they conceived the old project and what was the, their main goal at the end of it. And uh, after that they started their, uh, visualizing their, their project and um, screening their project on this big screen and they um, explained the frames they used, so the, the, all the course materials that they used and, and of course narrated the story that they, have, they had created. At the end of the project they asked questions to their uh, peers uh, about the project or some more um, you know, creative questions with uh, some creative activities sometimes. The last question was mine uh, in which I asked all of my students what kind of course materials they used in the, in the project just to recap. I had a rubric for this, for this project and students were evaluated according to uh, their use of course materials, so how relevant it was and how much course materials they used in the project. Of course, grammar accuracy. 
uh, speaking skills, but also the way they interact with the rest of the class. Because one of the most important thing, uh, in, especially in a language course, but I, I would say also in other courses, is the interaction and the communication between students, among students. So this is another thing that I valued. So that the way they, the, the questions they asked to their peers and their interaction uh, with them. And I would definitely use Prezi again. At first I was a little bit concerned about Prezi. I thought um, they, that it could have taken too much time uh, from students. But I noticed that they were very happy to use it, very happy to learn it, and it was very user-friendly. User I think uh, Prezi is a very good tool to help students create something with what they've learned in class and create it in a uh, personal but also critical way because they have to reconsider all the material in order to use it in a creative way. So I think that this is the major point about Prezi that I can find. I will definitely recommend it. Yes.